I wanna talk a little bit about breathing and how you might be able to help yourself in a short amount of time just by observing how you breathe. We are in a time where we are being told so many things about breath. And one of them is if you're not belly breathing, you could be creating more stress patterns in your body, which part of that is true. But the truth is, is we want a dynamic breath. So there are people who are more chest breathing. I tend to chest breathe more. So I do have to work finding that dynamic into my diaphragm and belly. And there are people who tend to belly breathe more. And just because you tend to breathe more into your belly doesn't mean you're not going to have same stress patterns that someone who chest breathes has. You may have the same kind of stress patterns. So the point is that there is not a good or bad here. Like I chest breathe so I'm bad, I tend to belly breathe so I'm bad or that's good. The where we're headed is harmony. So when we chest breathe more than belly breathe, there is a disharmony of the chest, chest is breathing up and wide and the belly is only pulling down maybe a little bit or barely at all. The diaphragm might be tight, stuck, all the things. And that's something that we hear a lot about in functional movement and functional breathing. Similarly, if you chest breathe, if you tend to chest breathe and have an accentuation in the down energy, the chest muscles and the lungs are not expanding as possibly fully as they can. So there, that's a disharmony there too. The breath system wants to work in this polarity of down and up and wide, right? The up is wide and the down is wide. So it's fully moving in this harmony. And that is the functional way that the body wants to work and be. It doesn't only affect your breath, but the breath pattern affects the polarity in your body, the down and the up, the traction of your tissue, the traction of your spine, the positioning and spaciousness of your joints the massaging of your organs. So when you tend to chest breathe more than diaphragm, than to use that diaphragm pulling down, you're missing out on some of that downward pressure and massaging of the organs. And then that activity back up of the diaphragm, it's not moving in its full capacity. Similarly, if you overly belly breathe, you're not getting the massage, the fullness that can be the massage of the lungs, massaging the heart, stretching the intercostals and all of your um, tissue that attaches to your ribs. Is that making sense? So I'm here to give you this information because the way you're breathing is just another piece of you and another part of you and nothing is right or wrong it's just the way that it is and you can create more harmony or more balance. There's not going to be one tool or technique that fixes this. It's just a way of noticing, noticing what your body does and bringing more balance to it. So I encourage you to do a little observing today, like notice where you breathe more. I mean, you may have no idea. Maybe you're really balanced. Maybe it can just be fuller all around. So just notice without forcing, pushing into either more chest or more belly, just notice. More to come.